All right, let's get back to your first live local forecast now. Checking back in with Julie. Yes, and let's take a look at this New Year's Eve forecast. And to sum it up, it's going to be very cold. So in the Portland metro area and up and down the I-5 corridor, a dry evening. So that is something to appreciate. You won't get soaked. You'll just be shivering. It's going to be 26 degrees at 10 p.m. So you're getting your last minute party favors, dressing up, doing whatever you're doing. Then at midnight, it'll be 24. And by 2 a.m., it will be 23. So very chilly out there as we ring in the new year, but dry, like I mentioned. So I'm not going to complain about it. What we can look forward to on the coast tomorrow. Some morning clouds, then a sunny day. Our temperatures are in the mid to lower 40s, 46 in Newport, 43 in Tillamook. Southeast wind of about 5 to 10 miles an hour, so nothing major as far as the wind goes on the coast. They're used to much higher miles per hour on the coast there. In the valley, some morning fog, so that'll be something to contend with, but... It's a Saturday and most people have it off. It's a New Year's Day, so we don't anticipate seeing tons of people on the road. Then, sunshine. It feels like a magical word for us in the Pacific, Pacific Northwest. It'll be 36 in Kelso and in Portland, so a little bit cooler in the valleys than it is at the coast and just a light wind. For the Columbia River Gorge, if you have friends, family in town for the holidays, this would be a really nice chance to go visit Multnomah Falls, take them out to see Hood River. It'll be cold, though, very cold. 29 in Hood River, 26 in the Dalles, but partly cloudy. You just get some sunshine in there, and it's going to be crisp, but, but nice. A little bit windy, east wind of 15 to 25 miles an hour in the gorge. Mount Hood area. Past conditions will be snowy and icy. Those roads, you're going to have to go a little bit slower than usual and have those chains handy. It'll be dry, partly cloudy, and the temperatures are going to be 20 at Timberline, 28 at Government Camp, 22 at Meadows, and 30 in Welch's. So I'm saying take your snow clothes, try them out tonight as you ring in the new year because you're going to need them because those temperatures are going to be well below freezing tonight. In eastern Oregon tomorrow, there will be a frigid wind chill. 18 in Baker City, 18 in LaGrande, and 19 in Burns. Mostly sunny, though, but very, very cold. Car wash forecast, looking good for tomorrow. Go get it done tomorrow, maybe Sunday morning, but by Sunday afternoon, evening, the rain will be back, and then it will stay with us. So tomorrow is really your only and your best bet to go get your car wash. Your seven-day forecast, starting the new year, dry. Love to see that, but a high of 36, so dry and cold. The rain will move in Sunday, and then it is here to stay. And would we really have it any other way? Rain on Monday, showers on Tuesday, little peak of mainly dry conditions on Wednesday, but then wet again on Thursday, and showers to close out next week.